I'll lock up behind you. Welcome to Ambrose Manor. We were not expecting company. Please follow. Do not stray from the path. Don't worry, little fella. We're mostly law-abiding folk. Big empty windows. It feels like the building's watching me. Oh, Law, I'm getting goosebumps. At the very least, there ought to be something worth stealing in there. Okay, maybe not. Oh, empty. Oh, Captain, something here don't feel right. So who the devil are you? You certainly paint a picture, and I'm certainly intrigued. Do you see that glowing chunk of space rock? That's Gorgon. My birthright, my burden, and the bane of my existence. I hate to drink alone, and this is my third. So join me in raising a glass. To Gorgon. To Gorgon. May cosmic winds shepherd her to the nearest star. I'm Wilhelmina Ambrose, but you can keep it short and call me Minnie. Now, what brings you to my house, gorgeous? I take it you didn't come all this way for the beverages, the starry skies, or the pleasant company. A severed arm. How positively ghoulish. You know this is a private residence, not a curio shop. Lucky Montoya is my personal freelancer. Fascinating man. Very brooding and theatrical. Always staring into space and twirling a bullet over his knuckles. He's definitely not doing that anymore. But if something happened to him... Oh dear. I suppose that makes him my former freelancer now? You suspect foul play? Interesting. If we're being honest, I haven't given it much thought. What a time for his luck to run out. We were in the middle of something grand, and I really can't afford another setback. That's called a defense mechanism. I don't get attached to others if I can avoid it. Try it sometime. How would you like to be my new freelancer? There's been a recent vacancy, and I think you're well-suited to the job. Remember, play hard to get. That's negotiation. You offer work to everyone who breaks into your home? Must be some kind of Byzantine tradition I ain't know about. I'm looking for someone rough around the edges. A gorgeous, dashing scoundrel type. Incidentally, someone good with their hands. I like my employees well-groomed. Appearances are everything in high society. My mother, Dr. Olivia Ambrose, worked for Spacer's Choice at the Gorgon Research Facility. She was brilliant. The top scientist in her field. Until tragedy struck. One day, 
Spacer's Choice shut down all research and evacuated Gorgon. Everyone had to scramble or risk getting left behind. It was chaos. Employees fled for their lives. Mother... never made it home. I'm told she wasn't the only casualty that fateful day. It must have been real hard on you, losing your mother all of a sudden like that. I'm sorry to hear it, ma'am. Thank you. Ambrose ladies are supposed to be resilient to the unexpected, but this was especially hard on me. Mother's name has since been dragged through the mud. Spacer's Choice blames her for the collapse of Project Gorgon, and I just know they're lying. My thoughts exactly. Mother would not have allowed Project Gorgon to fail. Something happened on that asteroid, and my family took the fall for it. I admired Mother, but we weren't close. She disapproved of... everything about me, really. I couldn't measure up to her example. She didn't make time for us. I remember thinking that she never wanted a child, and never forgave me for being one, naive and irresponsible as I was. Trust me, we are nothing alike. A kindred spirit. Well, well, charmed. Today is full of surprises. Mother worked herself to the bone. She wanted to make the colony a better place, no matter who or what got sacrificed along the way. She never spared a thought for those of us who cherished her, who suffered for her idea of progress. We got close once. When I was a child, I enjoyed looking over Mother's shoulder, playing backseat chemist while she peered into a microscope. One day, she told me to leave before I broke something. Then, I got mad and broke something. Typical night in the Ambrose house. Oh, that hurts my heart to hear, ma'am. My dad was real dedicated to his work, too, but he always let me help. Made me feel, I don't know, special. Like I had something to offer. I wish you could have had that with your mother. Mother and Gorgon were made for each other. I had the misfortune to be stuck in the middle. I don't know. And Spacer's Choice won't say. They don't discuss anything that tarnishes their brand. Gorgon has a dark history. The project fell apart. Personnel were shuffled across the system. With Mother gone, now I'm all that's left. Father lost more than his job on Gorgon. I'll say no more than that. The asteroid may look like a glittering jewel, but I assure you the resemblance ends there. Gorgon is poisonous to the core. One might even say cursed. I need your help, Captain. Project Gorgon killed Mother and disgraced the Ambrose name, and no one has been held accountable. Spacer's choice buried the past like a dirty secret. Neither. It's vindication I want. Whatever happened on Gorgon wasn't Mother's fault. I simply need the evidence to prove it. We're going to drag the truth, kicking and screaming into the light. Even if it means bringing ruin and humiliation to Spacer's choice. I hope that won't be a problem. Just in case any of your corporate sympathies were giving you second thoughts. Well put. All the evidence I need should be in Mother's journal. You can find it in her office on Gorgon, in the heart of the old research facility. I'm not surprised. Between the family drama and the corporate conspiracy, it must feel like you've stepped on a landmine. Speak freely, Captain. I suspect it will prove that corporate greed and incompetence were to blame for the calamity at Gorgon, and not Mother. Mother was a brilliant woman. Difficult, cold, unreachable even, but brilliant. Then my family's disgrace, our curse, will be absolute. This is my last hope of redeeming the Ambrose name. I don't like my chances, but I have to try. And I need help. Your help. I didn't want to go anywhere near Gorgon. Once I exhausted all my options, the search led me back here. 
I even had Mother declared legally dead. Would you believe it took five years to process the paperwork? It isn't as bad as you make it sound, but technically, yes. Mother's body is still on Gorgon. No body means no death certificate, which means no inheritance. I killed Mother, just on paper, of course, so I could claim my inheritance. We wouldn't be standing here if I didn't have access to the family fortune. Damn, wish I'd thought of that. I once assumed the mansion and the money would be enough to redeem the Ambrose name. But even in Byzantium, prestige must be earned. And it can so easily be lost. You know, some people work hard just to break out. Break back into high society, yes. I'm trying to do several things at once. None of them easy. The sneer campaign against Mother was the work of cowards. I'm vindicating the family name for her, for the colony, and for my future. My future as the head of the Ambrose family business, where I can wield my fortune like a cudgel. This colony is in trouble. The lunatics at Spacer's Choice are running the asylum, and we need better people to wield their influence. After Gorgon, I quickly discovered that the Ambrose name was... cursed, for lack of a better term. I had no place among the decision makers. No seat at the table. That's Byzantium for you. Gossip mongering's a bigger sport than toss ball. That is why I'm clearing the record and vindicating the Ambrose line. For Mother. For me. And for the generations who will one day inherit Halcyon. I'm counting on it. You know as much as I do, I'm afraid. Spacer's Choice abandoned Gorgon, but the asteroid is far from unoccupied. Between the marauders, the wildlife, and whatever escaped the labs, danger abounds. Toward the end of the project, I heard Mother grumble about some test subjects running amok outside of their enclosure. I wish I could tell you more. Just watch yourself. If you aren't careful, you stand to lose more than an arm. I believe that covers it all. Are you ready to get started? We mustn't allow the trail to get cold. I believe you're the first person to ever side with me against the corporation. It's a refreshing change. When you reach Gorgon, pack a weapon you trust. The corporate lockdown hasn't stopped the wilderness from squirming in through the cracks. I told him everything I've told you. Just the facts. Maybe a couple of harmless embellishments. Why? Still, you're smart to ask. Lucky spent most of our time together spinning a pistol around his index finger. Not sure he listened to any of my advice. That sounds like Lucky, all right. The man loved to show off. He had an aura of rugged individualism that was quite charming. Not that it helped him in the end. But you won't let me down, will you, Captain? That's the spirit. There's a little saloon near Gorgon's landing pad. The Sprat Shack. Lucky was renting a room, so if you want to follow his trail, that would be the place to start. I think I've heard of that place. Cheap whiskey, rough crowd. You'll love it. Oh, you think maybe they got a little mascot? Like a sprat and a tiny hat? Just so we understand each other, money is no object. I'm willing to squander the family fortune if you get me what I want. Between your payment and any salvage you happen across, You'll walk away from this rich enough to buy a mansion of your own. How does that sound? The cash? No one's ever done this before, and the only person who tried is a corpse. Believe me, that's enough. Here's your nav key, Captain. Safe travels. A word of advice before you go, Captain. Trust no one. Mother's office is in the heart of the Gorgon facility. You're free to salvage anything that isn't nailed down. I only want what's mine. Mysterious heiress, unexpected gainful employment. It's like something out of a detective serial. It's not theft if she's giving us permission.
Strange. Can responses come from the of this unit? These things have an old language.
I think I'll announce initiate an unscheduled Wow. Look at those stars. Don't it make you feel small, in the best way? I got supplies if you need them. No one lasts long on... You looking for supply, stranger? Best stock up here. If you run low on bullets out in Gorgon's far reaches, there ain't no one around here liable to help you out. Let me know if you're looking for something particular. Huh? Oh, you don't gotta worry about that. It's got something to do with that scrapped Spacer's Choice project from way back. Damn, Alarm's been hollering at us for five years if it's been a day. You know, I don't dream anymore. It's all, please evacuate in an orderly fashion. I won't stop you if you want to have a go at it. But so you know, it's going to take more than giving that control terminal a good old-fashioned pummeling. I know, because even Von Hoffman couldn't bash it in. And I seen that tough son of a gun throw a man clean across the Sprat Shack one time like he were a toss ball. Only that Spacer's Choice shut it down in a big hurry. From what I heard, some of their folks got left behind even. Don't seem like the project ended well. Found a pickaxe in the mine like none I've ever seen before. Could be awful useful if you're the violent type.
Keep an eye out, Captain. This place don't look entirely safe. This unit is currently in wait cycle. Please return later. Error. Tilt alarm engaged. Entering emergency reconciliation mode. This unit has been programmed to express despair. Please treat this unit with kindness. This unit is currently in wait cycle. Please return later. Error. Tilt this, this unit. Please return. Have a... Come here. Let's have a chat. All right, inspection time. Look at my eyes for as long as you can without blinking. Starting now. Good. Look up. Now look down. You're doing swell. Now, name and occupation. Good enough for me. You're cleared to pass. 
That was a sanity check. If you had changed like the others, it'd be in your eyes. You'd also be drooling, cursing, and making a mess of the place. Welcome to the Sprat Shack. You can head on downstairs. Every day, salvagers and scrappers set out to comb the ruins and make their fortune. The ones who come back, they aren't always the same men or women who left. They change. Never for the better. First, they get real twitchy and paranoid, shouting at folks who aren't there. Then they smell like they soiled themselves, on account of how they soiled themselves. After that, they're gone. Nothing but animals wearing human skin. Seen it happen myself. It's never pretty. Just don't ask me to dance. Bouncer, bodyguard, law enforcer. I make sure the Sprat Shack gets only the highest caliber of clientele. That's us. <laughs> and I thought this place was gonna be fun. We get a lot of brand-loyal corporate types, and a lot of cutthroat freelancer types. Both sides have their share of dirty scoundrels. And I hate dirt. This is a sublight bar, so most of our regulars come to plunder the old labs. The facility's locked up behind miles of red tape, so progress is slow. A lot of time to drink and reevaluate, then venture out and try again. Something bad happened here. Spacer's choice was developing chemicals. The kind with nasty side effects. Marauders outnumber the rest of us ten to one. Either they came from Gorgon, or something draws them here. I don't know which is worse. This place is under a dark cloud, stranger. That's all I know. If you want the history of the Sprat Shack, talk to Lex behind the bar. Watch yourself out there. Smell that? Cheap whiskey and stale cigarettes. My kind of place. Oh, ugh. This place smells like Felix's birth. You're a humbug, Trixie. And worse, a thief! I can't steal what's lawfully mine, you tangle-footed dimwit. Break it up, you two. I've heard more than enough of your shit for one day. Welcome to the Sprat Shack. First one's on the house, and I won't even water it down. What'll it be? Bottoms up. I assume you're here for salvage. Even if I did... I ain't supposed to play favorites. Most of my regulars are sublight scavengers. They pick over the ruins of Gorgon, spend their earnings at the bar, and uh, head back out the next day. Vicious cycle, but that's life. Lucky. Sure, I knew him. He could get a little... dramatic at times, but he was a good guy. Heard he took on a dangerous job. Spent a lot of time coming and going from the Office of Creative Incubation, just down the road. The way he talked about the job, you just knew Lucky had hit pay dirt. Not that I was jealous. Around here, that sort of luck can be uh, hazardous to your health. Uh, awful shame about what happened to him. You really want to hear my story? <laughs> Lol, most everyone around here is sick to death of it by now. Last I saw of Lucky was a few days ago. I went outside for a smoke and a stroll, and I saw this wild canid dragging a bloody limb. So I kicked the canid, scared it off. Get this, the canid was chewing on an honest-to-law human arm. Lucky's arm. I'm a bartender. Attention to detail is my middle name. Anyway, the arm was clutching a phonograph that mentioned someone named Alex Hawthorne. I did some poking around, and this Hawthorne has a reputation among the uh, <clears throat> salvagers who frequent the bar. So I packaged up the arm nice and tidy and sent it care of the Halcyon Parcel Service. They even gave me a discount on the hazardous waste removal stamp. <laughs> no kidding. And now you're here? Colony feels smaller than you'd think some days. I'm glad I was here to see this uh, confluence of events, you know? 
The stars really aligned on this one. And here I am, smack dab in the middle. I figured Hawthorne would want to know what happened to his pal. Help Lucky get his affairs in order, you know. Oh, I hate to see people go with unfinished business. Third floor. Once I figured he wasn't coming back to pay his tab, I left his room unlocked to air it out. You can help yourself to anything you left behind. Fair warning, I've been letting the regulars use it for a quick lie down. Just wash your hands when you're done. Trust me. Spacer's Choice used to brew pharmaceuticals in these parts. That's why the asteroid smells like an old gym sock. They say Adrena time came from here. Just down the road at the old R&D lab. Very hush-hush back in the day. Roscoe might tell you more. He spent some time around here before the bar opened up. I trust him well enough. There's always Leonora, my favorite customer over in the storage room on the second floor. Keeps to herself and always closes out her tab. He's been here since opening day. I think he told me he was some kind of journalist. He got left behind when Spacer's Choice pulled out. And I guess no one's coming to get him. Roscoe's drinks are on the house. We all know how it feels to get left behind. He'll be all right. He's with the family now. He didn't tell me and I didn't ask. I'm his bartender, not his human resources rep. If you believe the chatter, a lot of good folks got left behind, and a lot of bad folks made it out. Sometimes, that's all there is to it. Nice lady. Been coming around a lot these past few months. She isn't with Sublight, but seems to know the lay of the land better than anyone. She spends most of her days drinking alone. I think she's looking to hire someone. If you're open to a side gig... Now that you mention it, I thought I saw those two sharing stories over a pint. Didn't think twice about it. I don't speak ill of the dead, but Leonora deserves better company. That lucky was no good for her. What are friends for, eh? I doubt anyone knows the full story. One day the evacuation order went out. Grunts and lab coats scrambled to get anywhere but Gorgon. And the weirdest thing of all, Adrena time still hit the market. Damn right we are. We've got drugs, scrap metal, prototype weapons, drugs, money, and more drugs. When Spacer's Choice evacuated, everyone dropped their gear and ran. Most of it stayed where it fell, and all of it is up for grabs. Of course, the real treasure is whatever's locked up in the old facility. Until someone figures a way to crack it open, we're just sifting through dirt. You got it, bub. Don't forget to close your tab when you're done. Are you my agent on the ground? Sorry? I was sent to meet a certain someone about...
wouldn't get too close to that railing, just in case. Do you uh, think the folks here like strangers? Because some of them are looking at us like maybe not. Huh, who's this now? Wonder if they could. What's the story with this place, anyhow? Used to be a shipping. What have you got there? Adrena time, I think. Bring the pain. I don't know. Did you bring the good? Who 
do you work for anyway?
You got it. Sure. There sure are an awful lot of marauders on this abandoned asteroid. This reminds me of the punchline to a joke I heard once. OCI backwards and forwards. The Marauders got a way of finding every nook and cranny on this rock. OCI. Fancy joint. Smells like Wentzworth's and leather. A real slice of Byzantium. You don't set that up unless you're planning something big. Adrena time? Sure. But something tells me there's more to the story. Got a hunch to follow up on near the old mines. I'm leaving this here. In case I gotta come back. Initiating ocular measurement. Measurement complete. Ocular identification failed. Access denied. The Office of Creative Incubation is currently experiencing a lockdown event. Initiating ocular... I know bones, but I don't know what... And I say you're wrong. Llama! Talk to my first mate if you have questions. I'm telling you, this isn't the rock. We need to turn back. This is the spot! Now keep your eyes peeled. The dead drop is at the foot of the alpaca, he said. And this is the alpaca. Llama. What was that? It's a llama we're after, sir. Not an alpaca. And this is neither. Llama, alpaca, same thing. Llama. They aren't the same at all, sir. Believe it or not. Enough. We've got company. Out with it then? Who are you? I'm the captain of that crashed vessel, to be perfectly accurate. Why start now? What was that, first mate? Just talking to myself again, sir. We're on the hunt for a package. It's supposed to be at the foot of this handsome-looking alpaca-shaped rock. Llama? This handsome-looking llama-shaped rock. But the goods aren't here. Must have been stolen. Stolen goods is about the only part of that I understood. 
Mister, I don't mean to tell you your business, but this here's a fossilized monster skeleton. Just about the coolest one I ever seen, too. This? This is not a rock shaped like a llama. This is a fossil shaped like a fossil. Captain. Could it be the fossil of a llama? I highly doubt that. Can you believe this guy? Thank you. Hey, I do the talking around here. This is the right spot. I know it in my gut. But there's no package, and now my crew is insubordinate. Well, this is the only alpaca-shaped rock I've seen for miles, so let's agree to disagree. Llama. Llama. Sorry about my second mate. Ever since the crash, I can't squeeze a word of sense out of him. My crew and I are in the, um, parcel delivery trade. Our client is waiting on a delivery of special medicine, and this asteroid is the handoff point. He means drugs. It's a specialty cocktail of Adrena Time, pep pills, and dervish mist that our client takes to get out of bed every morning. Llama. Speak for yourself, llama boy. I'm getting out of this business as soon as we're done here. Only problem is the damn parcel isn't where it's supposed to be. Whoever heard of a llama-shaped rock anyway? I mean, what are the odds? That won't be necessary. I have everything under control. Could have fooled me. First mate, this is a llama, and that's an order. Now find me that package. It's around here somewhere. Hey, hear me out. You and I both know this isn't a llama. What's not to know? It's got four legs and a silly looking neck. I read all about llamas in a book about earth animals. I guess our client must have read the same book. If you backtrack and take the right hand fork, I could have sworn I saw the rock there already. Captain wouldn't let us stop because the beak wasn't sharp enough to be a llama. Bingo. He won't even let us turn around because he's dug his heels into this fossil story. His pride is all tangled up in it. We're not getting off Gorgon without that package. If you can find the llama and the goods, you can have my cut of the take. I don't care. I just want out of here. I lost a lot of friends in that crash. All I got left are my idiot captain and a guy who can't stop saying llama. This isn't about money anymore. It's about survival and cutting my losses. Alpacas are cowards. Never trust an alpaca. They're small, they're mean, and they'll stab you in the back first chance they get. You're telling me. We'd be having a very different conversation if this were an alpaca-shaped rock. Llama! Don't let me down. That llama is my ticket out of here.
Hard to imagine people living here. I guess that's true of any company town, though. What happened to all these people? That does it. Time for a drink.
Any luck tracking down that llama? Technically, it's the package I'm after, but you get what I mean. That's it! Oh, I can't wait to rub this in my dumb captain's face. See here now? What's all this talk about? We got the package. And guess what? It was where I said it would be. And this fossil? It's not a llama. Not a llama at all. I... I believe I owe you an apology, First Mate. What? It's true. I wouldn't know an alpaca from a raptodon, and as a captain, that's a mark against my good name. Can you ever forgive me? Llama. I don't know what to say. I'll start. Thank you, stranger. I suppose she's right. Maybe I was too quick to dismiss your leadership, sir. First mate, what say we put this awful business behind us with a round at the Sprat Shack? First one's on me. Llama. Here's my cut. I'd say you've earned it. And here's a little something extra for your time. Be seeing you, and thanks again. Llama.
mess with us. As a doctor, I'd say you've got a 6% chance of surviving the fall. Don't look, don't look, don't look. Tell me about the production of Adrena Time, Dr. Ambrose. I hear Compound X is a unique challenge to work with. 
It's temperamental. It must be refined under tightly controlled circumstances at tremendously low temperatures. Do you compound it with anything else? Tell me more about your refining process. Our audience is conversant in the sciences, very detail-oriented, so don't be afraid to get technical. Last time I met you, you spoke like a groundbreaker builder sprat. Why the sudden airs and such specific questions? Does your minder know what you're up to? Does he suspect you're a spy? I... Pardon me. This facility is currently experiencing a heightened security event. Accessing this facility requires voice modulated passphrase. Please speak the passphrase. Error. Passphrase not recognized. Please speak the passphrase. What's the hurry, right? <laughs> 